Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Welcome to the channel, it's your boy Chubb Shavin FM, the best big brother ever. And we are back today with the Let's Go to the Top Series with Sutton United. You can see we played five games in the league, we've won four, we've drawn one, nine goal scores, two's conceded. If we win our game today, we go back to the top of the league. Right, let's show you what's been happening. So last time you were with us, you saw us beat Newport County 1-0 on the first game of the season. We then went away to Doncaster and drew 1-1. Callum Holm with the penalty, Waltman getting the equaliser. Got knocked out of the Cowboy Cup by Charlton 3-1. As you can see here, I played pretty much a rotated team as we had a league game, and that's the most important thing in this challenge. We then played Barrow and beat them 2-0. This goal from Max Haygarth is an absolute beauty. So Haygarth has already scored a couple of bangers this season, as you'll see here. Out to him, one touch, volley right into the corner. That is probably one of the best goals I've seen on FM. Then followed that with a 2-1 win against Crewe. Max Haygarth again with an absolute banger. You'll see here Nerfield gets the ball. Plays it across. What a hit by Max Haygarth. Absolute banger. Then got our second goal from the corner. Eastmond crosses it. Ball shoots. Comes across to Nerfield. Then look at this for a bit of goalkeeping. Yep. Yep, that happened. And we followed that up with a 3-0 win against Grimsby. Bajil with a looping header for the first. Bojuan gives it to Eastman. Plays the ball in the box. Bajil just gets above the goalkeeper. Bojuan then, with the ball, gives it to Matheson. Crosses it in for Nerfield at the far post, follows home. And we got our third. Holm playing it to Hart. He gives it back. Crosses into the box and Bojuan. Another volley at the far post. We won the game 3-0. We then played Wickham in the Papa John's Trophy. Again, the pizza cup doesn't really matter. So, again, very much rotate your team. So that brings us here today to Harrogate. In fact, but first, before we do that, we've had one more signing. Tom Carroll came in on deadline day. Just an extra bit of backup for the midfield. Fairly decent, solid player. Ward, Matheson, Goodlife, John, Furlong, Eastmond, Holm, Boldervine, Haygarth, Nerfield, Bougel. So in League 2, you need to have one player trained by your club. And I basically loaned all mine out. So what I've done, I've called back... Killian Kuasi from his loan, just so he can sit on the bench. All right, let's go out and smash Harrogate. Seeing how the teams line up now. There's our Sutton United side. And Harrogate lining up with a 4-2-3-1, matching us up. Okay, we've got some good players for this level as well. It should be a tough game. But being at home, I'd expect us just to edge it. They're currently 10th in the table, us line in second, and we're underway. Can make Max Haygarth carry on his great form so far this season. Ward gives it to John. Gives it to Good Life. Just hit it up to Max Haygarth. There you go. They're listening. Of course, I've jinxed him. He gives it away. Russell gives it to McArdle. Daly on it now to Armstrong. Thompson to Daly. How great moving it around nice now. Can we manage to get this ball back though? We clear it and hit ourselves with it. That's top, top play. Patterson plays it out to Mac, who's got loads of space, but Matheson's there to cut it out. But he gets mugged by Grant. Good life's there to mop up. Why well, can we build an attack now? Haygarth on the ball. Gives it to Bowfine. In for the injured Ben Knight. Matheson plays a ball over the top to Bougil. I think he wins that. Haygarth gets it and gives it back. That is a finish of some description. Good play until the finish. I think we may have to uh, look at the striking situation at some point. So Harrogate with it now, Grant running down the line, comes back inside, gets the ball across, Patterson now with the effort, bends it just wide. A few little uh, signs starting to show that Harrogate have gone their way back into this game. But if we can play our way with that nice patient build up, we should be fine. Furlong now gives it back to John. Going to come out of defence, plays a long ball to Bajil, who flicks it on. Ramsey deals with Nerfield. They hit long Matheson. Decent clearing header, but Harrogate's still on the ball. Somatic now. He's going to go down the wing. Boldervine wins it. Haygarth really lazy and loses the ball to Daly. Falconham plays Grant through. Through on goal. 
That's a good chance. Right, we're going to encourage the team. So we'll spread to play out to Furlong. Nerf Hill comes short. Comes back to the defence. Home on it now, getting pressured. Passes back to the keeper nice and calmly. Wall gives it to good life. Looks to Eastman, who comes back up wide to Boldervine. Matheson now playing some great stuff. Can he get it back down the line to Boldervine? He can. Right, there's space inside if he can get the ball across. Gives it to Holman, unleashes an effort just over the bar. So Matic gives the ball to Daly. Gives it to Patterson who cuts inside. F rifles over, so from the goal kick. Wall gives it to John. Plays out to Furlong. Plays the ball up the pitch, Bougil wins it. Now Phil gives it to Holman, plays the ball back over to the top to Bougil. Can he finish or get an assist? Great finish from Bougil, that's what we've been wanting to see from him all year. Goes down the line. Puts a left footed shot right into the far corner. Well, let's see that again. He wins the initial header. Nerfield gives it to Hull and plays a lovely dink chip ball over the top of the defence. Bouchil runs down the line, cuts back inside, and unleashes a great finish into the top corner. 1 0 Sutton. So Ramsey on it for Harrogate now, trying to find their way back into the game. McCardle gives it to Russell. Can they hit pretty much immediately back, or can we cut this out? Long ball over the top to Grant. Can Matheson cut this out? Grant puts a ball in, Armstrong with a header, 1-1. One, one. Good play from Harrogate, but where's the defending from Sutton United? Let's see this again from the different angle. Ball over the top. Matheson should do more to close down Grant, who comes back inside, crosses it in. Armstrong free to put a header into the far corner, 1-1. One, one. So we're coming up to half-time, it's been a fairly even game so far. Harrogate seems to be on the attack though. Grant comes inside, unleashes an effort, just misses. So, 40 seconds before the half. Good tackle there from Mag, but it's been given as a free kick. And it's a red card. That looked like a pretty decent tackle, but obviously not. So Harrogate down to 10 men. It's a fairly even game going by the stats, although we've had the most possession. But is that card going to change things? All right, let's fire the boys up. There we go. A bit of green. We like to see that green a bit darker, but we're starting to get through to these players. Let's start the second half. We've got a highlight immediately from kickoff. Can we take advantage of the 10 men of Harrogate? Playing some lovely patience stuff. Haygarth plays through Nerfield, through on goal. 2 1 Sudden. The team talk at half time worked. It's kicked him up the bum. Maybe them being down to 10 men helps a little as well. But we'll put that down to the Chub Shavin effect at half time. Nice patient play. Hold to Haygarth. This time without the goal, but with the assist. Slide through Nerfield, but that's a lovely finish into the top right corner past the goalkeeper. 2 1 Sutton. So Harrogate with it now. And the goal kick. They go long. John wins it against Armstrong Bodevine now. Coming inside, plays a ball over the top. Nerfield somehow wins it. Bougil taps it in, but I think that's going to be offside. And it is. There's no VAR at this level. Let's see if it actually was offside. He looked it. Yes, he's quite he's quite a way off. Good finish though. So as you can see there, we're still we're now top of the table. 60th minute mark, bold wine now. Had a good game today. Matheson crosses it in Nerfield. So he's only on a 6.6 .6 bold line, but he's actually been involved in every highlight, so a bit of a strange one. Right, we're going to make some subs. Good life. He's on a card and not playing too well. We'll bring on Kobe Rowe. Bold vine we're going to bring off and bring on the returning Ben Knight from injury. And that's going to be it for this moment. So, this game and coming up to the 80 minute mark is just going to peter out. We're going to see if we can assist that by making a few more substitutions. Bougiou is having one of the better games in his shirt. It's going to make way for some fresh legs in Kouassi. And we're going to bring on Tom Carroll for home to be the roaming playmaker. Can they get their way back into this game? Ball over the top. John mops it up easily. Tom Carroll. First involvement in a shirt. Ball across. Nerfield gives it to Kouassi straight at the keeper. So McCardle gives it to Daly. Ball over the top, and Thompson get their wall to come for it. But we've seen his goalkeeping from that other highlight, so it wouldn't have surprised me if he totally missed that. But he mops it up well. He goes long. Ball over the top. Quite a simple ball for Harrogate to deal with. But now down the line to Thompson. Can they get behind here? John gets in. Cuts it out the play. Furlong. Aimless ball up the pitch. Russell. It's big old Louis John dealing with it again, but Eastland gets mugged in midfield. 
Rowe wins it. No one really wants to keep hold of the ball at the minute. Thompson's through here. Ball across Armstrong, they make it 2-2. Two -two. Disappointing play. Had so many opportunities to deal with that. Osterfield with the ball over the top. Thompson staying on side. Passing it across now. Now Armstrong is a dangerous striker at this level. Gets his second of the game. 2-2. Two -two. All right, we're going to encourage the lads. As the game peters out, are we going to get any more highlights? No, that's going to be it. It's going to finish 2-2. Two -two. Fairly disappointing result considering they had a man down. And we pretty much dominated that game. Had twice the amount of chances. Double the XG. But sometimes that's just the way it goes. It's not many. It's not very often you'll have a team play with this amount of sevens that ends up drawing a game against ten men. It's just one of those days. You've got to tell them they were unlucky because they were. And that leaves us in fourth place in the table, joint top basically, and we've got a game in hand on everybody else. So we're going to be back in the moment for the Mansfield game. So just a couple of changes for the Mansfield game. Knight comes in for Boulder Vine and Smith comes in for Haygarth. Right, let's get this game underway. Right, we're lining up with our four-two-three-one. Mansfield are coming at us. With a 3 3 2 2, or 5 3 2 basically. Not really seen this formation have much success when it's done by the AI. As you can see there, they're 23rd in the table. Cue them beating us 5 0. Right, let's get started. So we're underway. Going into the first, in the ninth minute. First highlight of the game, but according to the stats, we've already had four shots, three on target. Ball up there to Pim. Grabs it. Kicks it long. Good life deals with it. Holm gets in there and wins the ball. More patient stuff from us. Can Furlong get it back up the line? Finds the yard, gives it to Nerfield. Comes back to Holm and plays a lovely little ball over the top to Smith. Jinx with it, crosses it back. Wins it again. And Alistair Smith gets his first goal of the season. In for Max Hagar, who was pretty disappointed in the last game. Towering header, 1 0. <clears throat> we see here Smith gets the original cross in. McLaughlin knocks it back against his box. And Smith there with the header to make it 1 0 to Sutton. There's a quarter now gone in this game. 1 0 up, 6 shots, 4 on target, 1 goal. We've got the set piece now. What can Holm do with it? Swings it into the far post. Bougil wins it. The goalkeeper, Matheson. Going to go down the line. Comes back inside to Eastman. Passes to good life. Gets the ball over the top. Mansfield mop it up. John gets it back. Eastman. Knight's going to come inside. Plays a lovely through ball to Alistair Smith. Makes it 2-0 sudden. After getting dropped for the last couple of games. He's come back with a point to prove. A thunderous finish. It's a great play by John to win the ball. Gives it to Eastman. Gives it to Ben Knight, who plays a lovely through ball. As Smith threw on goal, rifles it home. 2 0 Sutton. So Mansfield, in our final third, get the ball across the box. Kamara now. Gives it back to Gordon, gets the cross in. Good lift, deals with it. McLaughlin. Heitken with the effort. Over the bar. A good strike. Mansfield now with the set piece. McLaughlin, what a save by Ward. That was going right into the top corner. And he's flung himself across there protected our lead it's not over yet though they've got the set piece Eastman gets it clear so we're at the half hour mark 2-0 up pretty much dominating the stats we've had 10 shots 7 on target to their 4 better XG dominating possession with 60% so in their final third Matheson gives it tonight McLaughlin wins it gives it to Boateng can we get this back up high up the pitch they knock it long John gets in there and wins it. Can only go as far as camera. Furlong's there to mop up. Gives it to Holm Nerfield with the first time. Misdirected pass. We mop up again. Louis John gives it to Matheson. He's going to run up the defence here. Plays a great through ball to Ben Knight. Probably going to cut back in on his left foot. Gives it to Matheson who swings the ball in. Alistair Smith nods just over. That could have been the hat trick for the boy. And that's it. We come up to half time and we're leading 2-0. Utter domination so far. But as we know with this game, that can all change. So we're going to say we're pleased we create loads. Scoreboard reflects that. Fire the guys up. Let's see if we can improve on that in the second half. So we're underway. Immediately Mansfield are in a dangerous position. Cross it into the box. 
Matheson with a pretty poor header. Only as far as McLaughlin and Hawkins. And that's it. They were managers obviously fired them up at half time. Mansfield get a goal back. Pretty poor defending from us. Don't defend the throwing well. Matheson was a pretty poor header. McLaughlin crosses back in the box. Hawkins nods home. 2 1. So we're at the, coming up to the 60th minute mark. Nothing else has happened yet in this second half. Going to make a few changes to get some fresh legs on the pitch. Bodevine's going to come on for Nerfield. John's on a booking. And they've got quite a tall striker, so I'm going to bring on a defender with a bit more jumping reach. I'm going to bring on Kobe Rowe to hopefully deal with that aerial threat a bit more. And that'll do for now. So, 70th minute. Home with the deep free kick. Swings it in. Good life wins it. And what a header. What a goal. Ben Goodliffe. We're going to call him Good Life. We're going to call him Goodliffe. I keep saying both. He's going to be the Good Life, Goodliffe matrix. He's one or the other. Or maybe even neither. As he rises above, wins that header. Makes it 3-1 to Sutton. Hopefully securing the win for us today. Good set piece from home. Dominating head from good lift. 3 1 Sutton. So he's going to make a few more changes now. Matheson's looking pretty spent, so we're going to bring on John Barden at right back. Eastman looks like he needs a rest. So we're going to bring on Haygarth. I'm just going to switch Haygarth and Holm in their roles. Because I think they perform better. So we've got one more sub we can make. I'm going to let this game peter out a bit more before we do it, just to waste some time. The 87th minute, let's bring on Bougil for Kouassi. Hopefully that runs down the clock even more. One last highlight. Can Mansfield make this game look a lot closer than what it actually was? Play it back to their keeper, Pim. They're going to build out defence now. Gives it to Hart, going to plays a long ball over the top. John Barden, who's been brought on, deals with it and mops it up. Gives it to Holm. Plays another long ball. Kouassi controls that well. Gets taken down out by Perch, and that's got to be a second yellow and a red, surely. Getting flashbacks as drawing with 10 men in the last game, but surely there's not enough time for them to get a draw now, so... Hopefully we can beat 10 men this time. So Holmes going to take the free kick. Plays a lovely ball down the line. Just wasting time to bowl Vine. Who gives it back to Holm. Switches play to Goodliff. Big centre back on a marauding run. And we get the corner. Time's ticking away. Are we going to have time to take the corner or the referee's just going to blow? Can we get a fourth? Can we get a cheeky little fourth? Go on boys, do it. Holm swings it in. Out to row. Mansfield clear, and that's it. 3-1, we wrap up the victory. 20 shots, 10 on target. XG of 1.58. 59% possession. All in all, I think a pretty good day at the office. Very happy with that. You see here, we're top of the table, clear by three points. And we go and make it seven unbeaten. We've not lost in the league this year. Let's look how we're shaping up. So we played seven, won five, drawn two, lost none. Goal difference of nine, 17 points. Let's have a look around the league and see who's doing what. So goal scorers. This is probably the one area we're lacking. We need a better striker. Max Haygarth playing for midfield has three. Other than that, we're not really on the list until we get to Nerfield. Nerfield and Haygarth both on three. You've got guys up here on like six goals. We should have really have a striker if we're playing this well. Up here somewhere. Maybe I'll have to look at a cheeky free transfer. Yeah, but if we go to the team stats though, even though we may need a striker... We're still getting the mo we still scored the most goals in the league at fourteen. We've got the averaging the most points per game. As you can see, we've got a pretty good defence, fewer shots against. Second in most shots for, but again we just haven't got a striker that can make those chances go to the back of the net. Doing okay on our pass completion. But we'd like to play a bit more direct. Kind of midway between playing short and playing direct, so I wouldn't expect this to be too high. And fewer's conceded, we've only conceded five. So guys, that's gonna wrap up the episode. You could do me a favour and just hit that like button. It would really help me out at this time. Also, uh, back in the comments, see if you, how long you think we're going to go unbeaten for this season in the league. Do you think we're going to go invincible? Who knows? I think we can. I think it'd be pretty tough, but I'm confident. I'm confident in the boys. Right. I'll catch you guys down the road. Have an enjoyable day. Much love. See you guys later. Bye.